Hello and welcome back everyone to the powder toy. I do apologize, it's been like a week since I uploaded, but that's because I got a I got a small job I had to accomplish. Um, and I'm getting very close to the end of it, so I figured that I would go ahead and get back to making videos because you know, that's you know, my my other job as a YouTuber. So let's go ahead and look through the front page of the powder toy and see if there's an orbital elevator. Oh my god, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That thing's cool looking. Oh man, I, sh I sure do hope there's no nuclear catastrophe relating to it. Uh, that would be awful. But as we know, there will be a nuclear catastrophe. I mean, we have a nuclear reactor here which is going ahead and it's powering the orbital elevator, and we also have spent uranium over here. I guess they're just storing it in this little this little box over here. And then we got some floaty boys, we got some cool city, we got a big bridge, some satellite communications. It's a beautiful, beautiful save. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we put a little bit of plutonium into the reaction chamber area. Let's see if we can get Get any interesting results? Hmm. Here's what I found. Um. Okay, that's not. I. I wasn't talking to you, but that's fine. Siri just went off for absolutely no reason. Wow. You know what? Not. Not much is happening. But what if there was a breach in the react? <laughs> now. Now I'm. Now I'm reaching a little bit. Now I'm. I never reach in my videos. This is the first time. First time. Oh, that's why. Those are just photons bumping around. They aren't neutrons. Ah, tricky. Very tricky. So that's why it's not setting it off crazily. Let's go ahead and set the fancy display and get our nuclear reaction in here that we were waiting for. So we have had a nuclear meltdown. Uh, immediately the foundation for pretty much all of the different uh, systems have been knocked out. This building is being supported by like an arch here. It's actually quite impressive. In reality I believe the entire thing would collapse down. This tower is now being held up basically by this one single support. And I guess a little bit through... No, because this is crumbling. Yeah, overall, not a good day for the experiment. Um, quite a bit of damage. Gonna need some flex tape for that one. There's a lot of uranium that's just mixing in. Getting very hot because there's a lot of pressure. Uranium heats up when there's pressure, so... The problem isn't really going to solve itself, it's just going to stay very hot and very dangerous. Which is not good. However, let's go ahead and do a little bit more testing because I am curious. This curiosity killed the cat. First off, we gotta stick a nice old Vuperian flag on here. Oh, it just died. That's sad. Oh, my decoration layer is off. Oh, it looks even cooler with the decoration layer. Oh, man! Well, I'm dumb. <laughs> let's do it with the decoration layer, then. Alright, let's design a little bomb. Let's go ahead and build a... quartz. Boom, boom. Alright. So the outside of this is going to be Nahonium, and the inside of this is going to be... Deuterium. We're going to increase the life of this deuterium a little bit. Set life dut 100. Okay, now we'll do a thousand. There we go. All right, now frame by frame as we see the exploding. Ooh, it is just spraying that nihonium out. Each dot of that nihonium is at like. Yeah, this is at 11,000 degrees. <laughs> As it sprays out that Nihonium, the Nihonium is able to just shear its way through any material just with the immense heat 
It's vaporized most of this side of the elevator at this point. It's gripping through the ground. Everything is being vaporized. Not a good time. We got some neutrons just hanging around now. Just hanging around. Yeah, okay, that did quite a bit of damage. That was pretty good. Orbital Elevator, huge fan. It looks awesome. Uh, very good work. What else do we have? A Zephyr Exoskeleton. Ooh. AMD Ryzen 959. Ah, you see, I actually have a 5950X, so we're cooler. We're cooler than them. <laughs> 8K Ultra HD eyes. Solid circulatory system, regenerating shield skin. Damn, they're putting a lot of work into this guy. Uh, should, should we just fill him with some meat? Get some biology moving in there? Mix it in with the biology mod? Mmm. Oh, this is... Oh, I see. This is for the body fee 5. So we can actually copy this, go over to the body V5, and it's an upgrade. Oh my god. If I can line it up properly. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a full upgrade. That is awesome. Oh, look at him. All of his body parts have been upgraded. We have quartz. We have a brand new. Wow. That is so awesome. Okay, well now I'm curious. We have to go ahead and test it against a weapon. Can his new body armor actually save him? Maybe I shouldn't shoot him in the face. Maybe that's uh, a little bit too damaging. Let's try this. Oh my god! He's invulnerable now! Okay. No, he's not. He's not invulnerable. We can deal with this really quickly. Let's go ahead and uh, just build a small nuclear weapon. He just happened to be uh, in the room while a guy was was using a flathead screwdriver with a nuclear <laughs> nuclear core. <laughs> oh, I hate it when that happens. Terrible experience every time. Darn it, Dave! Stop playing with the nuclear reactor core, and it explodes. Kind of a result are we gonna oh it is oh my god so there's certainly damage but like a little bit of his insides got liquefied but he's still alive you can actually see he bled a little bit. Oh my... Wow! I am very impressed. Let's go ahead and raise the stakes, shall we? Well, now it's a challenge. We'll do a dual layer bomb, outer layer nehonium, inner layer deuterium. Set it off just like the other ones, and frame by frame we have... Okay, I do not think he's going to survive uh, this. There's no chance. The Nehonium is super heated, and it's going to rip right through the defenses. There is literally a layer of 10,000 degree material on him. Will the shield be able to hold on long enough? Nope. 
Nope, the answer is no. Oh my. Okay, that may have been a little bit unfair. That may have been a little bit too intense. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was a little bit too much for him, but... Let's go ahead and lower the power of the deuterium to 100. Same experiment, 10 times less powerful deuterium. Nihonium gets thrown out, far less neutrons this time though. Wow! So the Nihonium did manage to burn through the uh, defenses and get into the body but the body is still actually fine. There wasn't enough damage to completely destroy the body. I mean, it is a mess. His insides are absolutely mixed up at this point. Um, his bones are broken. His neck is... Yeah. Oh my god, but he, it says he's alive! How? How is he alive? It's He's both dead and alive. It, it, it's very confused. He's in an eternal state of pain. Oh my god. That is, this is so much fun. <laughs> this is maybe one of the coolest things I've seen made in a while. It's just a little modification to Body V5, but it makes it so much more interesting. All right, let's go ahead and what is, what was that? I have a keybind on something. That was interesting. All right, let's go ahead and... Do another 10 times less powerful deuterium. This time it's just really the Nihonium. That's super impressive though. Getting hit in the face with the most dangerous element in the game. And he's not dead. Okay, okay, his bones are liquefying. There is Nihonium that actually got into his body, and that Nihonium is causing quite a bit of trouble. It's, uh, it's being cycled through him. But because of the pressure inside, it's slowly breaking down. He's technically dead, but I think it's going to have him come back to life. Um, I don't think he's real. Okay, so like, yeah, I mean, sure, his bones, his bones have liquefied. But really, if your bones aren't liquefying, are you really a person? We still have... The only thing that's not active is the heart. Come on! Come on! Come on! He don't need no heart. <laughs> it's unimportant. All right, yeah, that's pretty great. I mean, the bombs and mines, I, I don't think he can uh, survive a... Oh, I lost it. Anyways, that's really awesome. I suggest you guys go check that save out because blown away, absolutely fantastic. And who was that made by? Uh, that was made by... Decents. This is amazing. Really, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I will be making videos normally again soon, so keep your eyes peeled, but not literally because peeling eyeballs would be a disgusting and painful affair. I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Thank you, end credits gang, for sticking around. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to put in the comments if you want to see something specific. Yeah. I don't know why I said that so quickly, but I do apologize for, you know, the few days without videos. I promise I'll make it up to you. I have a lot of cool stuff in the works, so stay, stay alive. Thanks. Bye.